We're going to be talking about Chrome Brew today, installing applications like you see on the desktop here, uh, but we're going to be doing full desktop applications on Chrome. We're not going to be using a VM, and we're not going to be using the Play Store. Now, I went ahead and enabled developer mode on this Chromebook, which does erase everything, but also I wanted to show this desktop right out of the gate. There's a couple things in developer mode if you're going to run this, I highly recommend doing first off setting a dev password. This ensures that if someone gets your laptop, they're not just gonna get root access. So I obviously did that command right there where it says Chrome set dev password. I just wanted to show sudo su to run as super user. And then I said, hey, uh, Chrome OS dash set dev password, put a password in, very important. Next up, I did dev boot signed only. This makes sure that you can't just load some tool or another utility to reset a lot of stuff in this system. Now with that done, this is pretty secure. It's in development mode and we can install native desktop apps directly on here without going through the VM like I showed last time. So let's install Chrome Brew to start out with. It is a pretty cool one. If you're familiar with Homebrew on Mac OS, uh, very, very similar. So. I'm gonna just scroll down here. There's a little install that we do to install. We just go right in, copy this guy over here, right click to paste and hit enter. All right, and here we go. Now, since I set that dev password, it's gonna ask me to enter that password I put in. And now it should go through and do everything. Some people don't set the dev password, but again, it would just be so bad if your system got stolen by someone that knew what they were doing. They could easily get access to everything in here. And it's a big security flaw. So that's why I do set that. Now we're able to do this because Chrome OS is built on, and basically it's a, a bastardized version of Gen 2. And that's a version of Linux. And what this does is it makes it very easy for us to install a whole host of different applications. Like I use Vim a lot for video or actually text editing, I should say. Uh, I want GIMP for a lot of my photo edits. I really enjoy GIMP instead of the Adobe suite. I, I try to stay away from Adobe at all costs. And then there's just some other little uh, odds and ends instead of using, I think I showed uh, code in this last one. I think it was code OSS. And this, I wanted to actually show Codium, which would be totally doable here. And VS Codium is just an open source uh, without any telemetry built in of Visual Studio code, which is really good for it, this type of thing. I also like to interact with a lot of Git projects and this just makes everything very easy. And also one big thing I wanted from doing developer mode on here as well is doing unsigned APKs. So I wanted to actually try a full blown Play Store game that's not sanctioned by Google. Uh, I'm going to be trying Genshin Impact on this one because if you look on the Play Store, I, I can't even install that game on this system. Let's uh, just do a search. You'll see it doesn't have this game on here. And my son plays it and I was like, you know what? I'd love to have that loaded up on my Chromebook so I could just chill in the living room and we could play while he's on like the PlayStation 4. So what I'm going to do also, and I'll, I'll do that Why this is installing, I'm just going to come in here and grab this APK. And it looks like our Chrome Brew is now successfully installed over here while it's downloading this unsigned APK to try later. First off, let's get Vim going and it's just crew instead of brew install. And we're gonna install Vim. Of course, this is my preferred text editor. Most other folks will like probably Nano. And we'll just hit yes to this and it's installed. Now let's install something a little bigger uh, like GIMP. GIMP's what I use for to make all my thumbnails on the YouTube channel. So after some initial run through of Chrome Brew, I went ahead and changed a couple things around. First off, when you're doing Chrome in Chrome Brew and you're installing a lot of programs like GIMP, it threw some errors when I was going crew install GIMP. And right now it's already installed, but it had initial problems. And what I needed to do was crew installed build essentials. If you've ever built programs in Linux, having a build essentials, which this is actually different for each environment and each Linux distro, usually it's like build dash devil or, you know, a whole bunch of different 
uh, packages. But Build Essentials, or actually Build Essential, yeah, that's it, will get you all the tools you need to build. So if you're going to be building a whole bunch of different uh, things in here, by all means, do it. The second thing I did was installed Secure Shell through Chrome Browser and also enabled the Kronos extension. So now I can launch directly into it without having to open up Chrome OS. And the downside to using Chrome Brew, one, we have native applications, it's not Play Store junk, it's just straight GIMP. You can just launch it right here. The problem with this is, well, you have to have that open. You have to launch it from Shell. There is no easy shortcut like the virtualized solution. So long term, not a great solution, but man, I will say this is pretty darn snappy and I kind of dig it. It's it's it works well. So I will leave this in, but I know this is definitely not for everybody, but having that native launch capabilities is there for GIMP. Now, as far as that Genshin Impact APK, that failed after I downloaded, I went ahead and clicked yes to go for it. But like I said, there's always a workaround. So the workaround is to go into your settings right here, uh, go into the Linux portion of it and go into develop Android apps, enable ADB debugging. This will require you to restart your computer after you enable it, but once you do, Go ahead and launch into your Linux shell, and you can kind of see everything I've done. Go ahead and install Android tools. Install all that. ADB connect, and you want to use this address right here. Yours will be the same as this IP. So by all means, copy paste this in, and you can already see it is connected. From here, we can actually sideload the apps. Now what I did was just right click and say, share with Linux. Uh, right now that's actually already there, but if you had something else, let's go my files. And let's say I had like a new folder here. Let's just create something. When you right click, you can say share with Linux and it'll go ahead and mount it automatically. So that's all you need to do to access your downloads folder. If you don't want to re-download it, you could always just do a W get in shell if you want. So we're going to go into MNT, Chrome OS, my files and downloads. And then we'll just do a listing and there's our Jinchen Impact APK that we want to install. Now we're just gonna do an ADB install and we'll do Jinchen. And what we'll do is a side load technique and we're just gonna do ADB dash S and then do emulator 554. And let's see if we can stream this install now. Okay, so that actually ended in abysmal failure. Uh, <laughs> they don't have an APK that is compatible with my architecture. So sadly, this is a failure. However, I wanted to show side loading and also the Chrome brew because these both expand your horizons. I still personally like the virtual machine and that's really where all the resources from Google's going, but my next video will be going more into that. I think I'm gonna really push towards that. Uh, Chrome brew's neat and I'll probably keep it on here uh, for just a little bit, but I don't like the fact you have to go into developer mode and that wipes out all your stuff. I really want to stay on the stock uh, Chrome OS with this. And I would just load Linux on it, but there's so many hardware customizations specific to Chrome OS. It just seems like a waste for this specific laptop. And in my next video, you're gonna see a new laptop. Well, it's actually an older laptop that I broke. Watch out, Linus, I'm coming for you. And I broke this beautiful laptop in the screen. So that's going to be actually a full laptop replacement. And I'm going to revisit the best laptop I've ever dealt, touched, or seen. And uh, I've been using that for eight months. I just got this kind of as a fun side project. I love kind of tinkering around with this new stuff, but really Chromebooks, I think, just leave them in stock and work on VMs is my recommendation, but I at least want to give you options. I always say that. And uh, the breaking point for this was just launching things through terminal, launching GIMP through Chrome Brew. I was like, eh, I'd rather just be on stock and launch the VM and lose a little performance. But uh, I'm more intrigued by the future there. So the next Chromebook video will definitely be once that acceleration, that GPU acceleration is done and I'll uh, show that. And then also probably make another video over replacing the shell with like Arch Linux and other distributions, which you can do without developer mode. All these things, just oh, so much fun stuff. And with that, 
I'll see you in the next one.